Hey man, can I get a picture of you? Yeah. Stand, stand right here in the light. That's awesome. I uh, just, uh, Stay, pull, you know, actually, right, okay, like where half of it's on your face and half's not. Uh, turn your head toward me, do not move, turn your head to that's perfect, man. Perfect, here we go. Oh, that's gonna be an awesome shot. Can I take your picture? Can I take your picture? I walk around and do street photography for a YouTube channel. You want me to, uh, where I take my head? <laughs> What's it, uh, just, uh, just like, actually get you there, that'll look really cool in the background. There. So you just kind of stand here and I'll just take a shot. Can I look at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Ready? Excellent, excellent. Um, do you want a copy of it or? Do what? You want a copy of it or anything or? I don't, uh, I don't have a card though no, on me, so. Okay. Okay. Thanks, thanks one. anyway, I appreciate it. Uh, need to carry a card. Hey guys, how we doing? Well, we're out using our Canon EOS 2000, which is pretty awesome. I'm shooting today on shutter priority, which I rarely ever do, but uh, we're doing that today. And uh, But it's got shutter priority, aperture priority. It's got manual, it's got program. So I always usually shoot in manual, but again, since we're doing some different stuff here, I thought, you know what? Instead of spending all the time working on the controls, I'll let the camera do some of the work. I can't bring myself to do complete program or only program. I've got to have some control. So I've basically got it at 500 shutter and I'm letting it pick the aperture. And right now it's picking between 4.5, 5.6. It's a cloudy day. I was hoping for a sunny day. I like shooting uh, on sunny days. A lot of people don't. I do, you can get a different perspective. I like shadows, harsh shadows and contrast, but not on this day because it's not a sunny day. So we're gonna work with the clouds that we have. I'm in a real cool part of Indianapolis just south of the downtown area called Garfield Park. A lot of uh, old buildings and uh, old neighborhoods and things like that. So we're just gonna, you know, take some shots. I've got a roll of 24 Kodak Ultra Max 400 and we'll see what we come up with. So let's, uh, let's go along for the ride and find out how we, uh, how we turn out. Okay, now in theory, when you turn it on, it should unroll all of the film and go all the way to 24. And then as you take pictures, it'll start counting backwards. And when it gets to one, it'll automatically roll it back up into the camera. So let's see if I've done this right. Turn it on. There we go. Yep, it's, uh, it's loading. That means I did it correctly. And there we are. It is at 24 exposure. So once I start taking photos, that will start going backwards. And that's all there is to loading film in this camera. And let me turn this off, which the L is the off. And if you flip it over, by the way, the batteries, very simple to put in here. These are the CR2 batteries. I had to buy two of them. So, uh, but anyway, those just pop in there like regular little batteries. And uh, if you know how to use manual settings, then you can certainly use manual settings with this camera. If you don't, I would suggest just going into program uh, and working your way through. There's a lot of different ways to do this camera. By the way, I knew that I was putting 400 speed film in there. So uh, when you do turn it on and you have to go to ISO and you see there, you can change your ISO. But of course, mine is well, you just turn the wheel here and that will change, but I'm not doing that because I have 400 film in there. If you put the, if you have it set at 400 and you put 100 film in, it will be flashing and it'll basically make you go to that L. So there we have it. I'm turning it back off. It shows that I have 24 exposures to go. And now we're going to go out and we're going to shoot these exposures and see what we come up with. Oh, this may be a cool portrait here. Oh, this is awesome. There we go. There we go. Let's get this back down to about 350. And boom. Interesting shot. <laughs> Can I take your picture? I just do street photography. If you actually, you just keep doing what you're doing, looking down at your phone and then I'll get it like this. It'd be really cool. Oh yeah, here you go. You ready? Here we go. Awesome, take one more. 
Okay, this is a close-up shot here. Let me make sure what I've got going on. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I'll check it out. Awesome, thanks. Yeah. Boy, it'd really be great if we could get a little peak of sun to pop out here right as this traffic rolls away. Let's see if we can make that happen. It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot since we don't have traffic. And I've got this on shutter priority at 500, which I'm gonna pull that down to about 350. And that was about a 4.5 on there. So now we'll see, the sun looks like it is starting to pop out here just a hair. And it was illuminating the top of that building. So if it does, I'm gonna waste another shot. So we'll see what happens here if it does. See, it's peeking out right there, which would be, oh, that's actually gonna be a cool shot right there. Pull my shutter speed up, before the car shows up. Ah, okay, so. I think that was a wasted shot. Let's see what we get here. And I'm at 3.5. Shutter speed of 500. Just to show you our shallow depth of field that we can get with this or see if we can get a shallow depth of field. Alright. And it doesn't look like our sun's going to pop back out. So let's roll on down the street here. Okay, these are cool. You can always kind of get a cool shot of these bar signs. So this is up to about 350. Oh yeah, and I'm at 6.7, so that gives us plenty. And I'm just gonna shoot this straight on. And we've got some nice blue sky broken up by clouds above it, so a nice little background for that sign. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up to can go up to just a lot of depth of field here we'll go to 180 should give us plenty of depth of field I don't like the car lights but I and took the shot because that's what we're here to do take pictures so I'm gonna go to a thousand and that I go to a thousand and that's gonna give us a 3.5 aperture and that should give us some depth of field so that the entire thing won't be in focus but the center should, and I'm not sure I want that, actually, as I say that out loud. So let's go back to 500 and go to 5.6, and we should get most of this in focus that way. Here we go. All right, there's our shot. Okay, the sun's about to pop back out on this one, so we're going to be okay as long as we get no vehicles here. Here we go. I'm gonna take another one because I'm not sure if that vehicle got in there or not. Here comes that sun. That's a beautiful raging sun. And there we go. It either came out or it didn't. We got some lead-in lines here, so let me use this as a lead-in if there weren't any cars there. Get that car out of there and boom. Excellent. See how that comes out as a somewhat of a lead-in. Oh, that sun is just glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. This is just very dull here with the sun out. So let me get up here where I can get some sort of, actually this is kind of cool right here. Actually, that's not cool. But now see, if I was not parked there, I'll be damned. That's my vehicle. By the time I move it, the sun would be gone. Christ, it doesn't matter where I park. I'm always, always in the way. Always. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I'm just going to take a shot into this sun here. Glorious, glorious sun. Now, will this shoot here? Will we be able to get this? I'm going to go up to 1,000th of a second. That was at 1,000th of a second. at about F13, 1,000th of a second about F13. I'm gonna get down here again. Come on, dude, hurry up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And bam. And I didn't get killed, awesome. 
Okay, let's see what we can do here with the vape shit. Oh no, oh, oh. I can get this in without the truck. And I'm gonna get a starburst of the sun. That's awesome. I have no idea how that's gonna come out. I gotta wait three days to find out. He's a photographer, he's taking pictures. I do street photography, YouTube video stuff, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's got a cool shot of him. You're the manager. See how we, yeah. Come forward, ooh, yeah, there we go. You mind if I move these? Oh, awesome. There we go, now we're talking, okay. Make do with what we got, there we go. Now we got it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, here we go, we're gonna do this one. Give me a thumbs up or something. There we go, right on. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and I can only take one shot because like I said, it's film, so. Right on, dude, take care. Can I get a photo? Awesome. Awesome. Here we go. Oop, let me make sure I'm uh, good to go here. Using a film camera, actually. So here we go. Right on. Ready? Focused on you. Boom. Perfect. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, dude. Five point six. So let me get this. This is a good angle. Check out that. That's a, okay, this will be a good angle. Well, not the best angle, but it'll be an angle. Matter of fact, if I can get here and do one of these numbers, that'll be even cooler. So here we go. I'm at 350th of a second. And that's all of our film. Okay, so that's going to do it for our shoot here in Fountain Square. That was kind of cool, and uh, the sun popped out for us. And it, it's always neat when uh, when you get the sun popping out on a cloudy day because I don't know if any of our photos actually showed it, but uh, that enables you to kind of highlight parts of the, uh, the building or the structures. And since these are old structures, that was really pretty cool. Okay, guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to make my way across the street, get to the car, get back home, get this to Robert's photo tomorrow, get these um, developed, and I should get them back by Thursday. And then Thursday night, I'll be creating the video, and you should be watching this on Friday. So that's how quick of a turnaround we got going on this. Literally had to get out today to get these shots because I forgot that it takes a couple days to get them developed. So had to get out today, which is Monday evening, to get these over to Robert's tomorrow so I can get them back by Thursday and make that video and have it out for Film Camera Friday. So every Friday we're gonna have a different film camera. I'm hoping for 52 this year. I don't know, we may go 26 and double up, I'm not sure. But we'll see what we come up with. I know I've already got 10 of them purchased. So, uh, and, and different brands, different brands, Olympus and Nikon and Canon, of course, as we're shooting right now, the Pentax, uh, Mamiya. So uh, got a lot, of, a lot of cool cameras. I did not spend more than $25 on any of these cameras. So uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun showing you how these work and, uh, and, and walking around and uh, taking the photos with them. So adds to my personal collection and I'm, I'm having a blast with it. So hopefully you are too. Hopefully you'll go out and uh, right now search eBay, buy you a film camera, buy you a roll of film, go out and shoot it and let me know how it comes out. All right guys, we'll see you on the next one.